All right, so let's go ahead and now complete um, something that I've been wanting to complete for a while, which is actually to capture the Thraxia, which is on the spring map. Um, and uh, we're just gonna make it easy. I usually would alk, and you normally know, you'd want to corrupt these so you can complete it on the map. But I don't even know if we're gonna be able to complete it legit. So we're gonna go ahead and hop right in and see if we can uh, go ahead and uh, complete it via this. Now the boss will be a little bit harder. Oops. Maybe I'll use hypothermia if I if I'm not one shotting. Eh, two shots fine. It's only when it comes to like hitting like a lot, a lot of times. Like if I'm hitting things like five times and not dying, then yeah, I'll probably swap the build up a little bit. But or it's usually just remove greater multiple projectiles because that's what gives us uh, a bunch of damage. Uh, we'll lose out on a bunch of damage. Oh, hit, hit pretty pretty hard over there. It's like a third from like <clears throat> not something very very strong. This map I'll clear out fully because this map was a tier 15 uh, map and uh, they're not cheap. This one costed 15 chaos to go ahead and actually do. <clears throat> so I want to try to focus in on oh is it this is it the scorpion boss? Wait what? Oh we're gonna we need a barrage on this. Alright. I don't even know how hard they're gonna hit. Is this Ellie damage? Oh, that, that that does damage. Okay, okay. I really, what is this? Caustic strike. Okay. I'm kind of just trying to read its moves, dude. He has that like a person. I didn't notice that. There's like a person as the tail, like it's a girl backwards. Yo, demonetized real easy without that artwork cap. Build up my frenzy charges again. Where the heck did they go? Do they actually go away just like they normally would? Oh my gosh, they do. This is like the scorpion, um, I was about to say scorpion king. It's a scorpion that we fought like a long time ago for one of the quests. Now we're gonna go ahead and I guess we have to charge our flask with this. Kinda just move along. Probably should make a portal around here. I wonder if these things can infinitely spawn, therefore we just get infinite loot. I'm sure, I'm sure they, they won't let you do that. Otherwise you can put me, maybe play like an, a Righteous Fire build AFK and then you'd just be able to farm XP forever. So, so I, I doubt it. I wanna try though, I'm just kinda curious. This game gives you flashbacks for League of Legends. Oh, uh, well, I mean, this game is, uh, I would say nothing like League of Legends. Like, so if, I don't know, are they good flashbacks or bad ones, Kappa? For me, League of Legends, uh, it's just it's just frustration for a long time. That's that's how I feel like that game is. Like, it's like, it's like Overwatch multiplied. I think we're getting like sucked by quicksand or something. have any problem with this though. Oh, there's a boss over here, what the heck? I mean, these things are a lot tankier, like, ridiculous. All that, we didn't really get anything off of it. kind of weak too from what we uh, did previously I'm just 
kind of moving around. I, I actually don't know this, this thing's patterns. I know when it pops up, it can like slam you, but for the most part, I never really like bothered looking into these uh, patterns. Looks like it's gonna do a big slam, so. You moved out of the way and it did a big slam. Oh my gosh, we're belting too. Okay. We need, we need to kill this boss. It's also technically a little bit stronger because I did um, put in the captured soul thing in it and that makes the bosses uh, a little bit more tough. But after this, we'll be immune to poison damage completely in the game, so. I feel like this is one of the, uh, the more sought after uh, ones for some people. Do like good, good damage with the hope shredder. My mana oh, is I gone. Need, I need a crit, or I need a frenzy. And then some of these totems. They're actually like okay for damage, but the main thing that I want them for is actually the distraction. Oh yeah, there's a big ground slam, and we got him. Well, okay, ne next rotation. There we go. So we completed that map, but we didn't complete it um, via the uh, Atlas, because I believe the ret maps require you to also use a Vol Orb on it, um, which will make it, well, technically sometimes it doesn't make it harder, but it does kind of make it uh, to the point where sometimes the map will be modified to let's say reflect elemental damage. And if it was to reflect elemental damage, I literally can't do the map. Yeah, we'll go ahead and continue in our playthrough here. Now that we've captured it, we're going to go ahead and bring that to Sin. And uh, we'll now be immune to poison. And now I guess you get to see, like, this is what is considered, like, the higher endgame maps. Um, but you can also, like, kind of modify them to be a little bit more difficult. But this is pretty much what would be kind of considered, like, the endgame in terms of maps. Like, uh, the red maps are the more difficult ones. Which we're, we're not really having too much trouble doing. As long as you're able to melt like most of the small monsters, we'll be good. What are my thoughts on the, the ghost girl? Oh, I, th the new card for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I, I made a video on it. I think it's really good. It's very good. I think it beats effect Valor like in, in every single way. Other than like, I guess Valor can stop chain blocking because that's only when the monster is spoken. But overall, impermanence is the best. Is this almost done with the map? It still says 50 left. And we didn't really get any loot from it. But the most important part is actually just being able to complete the. Uh, boss because I know it was gonna be a little bit difficult and I think we ripped once on it right so it wasn't too bad it's still doable but I'm just glad that now we're immune to poison because um, I believe I'm gonna double check on this just to make sure um, poison. I believe poison is considered chaos damage right so let me go ahead and check right here so poison uh, that deals chaos damage over time okay and since uh, you know I would say a lot of the things this league are doing poison damage being immune to poison? Not that bad. I mean, I, they might be doing other chaos damage, but it basically just stops one element uh, from doing damage, which I will argue is, is a good thing. I'm gonna go and throw in portal spell. I don't, you know, we didn't do the metamorph, um, but we got the soul over here. So that's all that matters. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab that real quick. Uh, another thing is, oh, can it be traded or modified? You can't, uh, after you complete it, you can't just like sell sell the uh, the boss's soul, which I think would be kind of cool because then you could have another form of endgame content where people are just looking for these boss souls and just kind of completing them. But I think the pe they want them, the players to do it, and I can definitely understand that because it's kind of like your sense of progression, right? Uh, let me get rid of that. What do we have for this? Currency items, okay. That's what I want. Currency items. Rare weapons. I'll take the currency items. Enchanted helmet. Rare jewelry. I'll take that. Unless it's like a unique 
Uh, as long as this whole thing is pretty much full, that's basically what I want. Legend Strike. I gotta check out what we're doing. All right, so it's hexproof, does chaos damage. Enchanted Helmet, extra fighter. As long as it's not life regen, that's what I'm like worried about too. Oh, we need Barrage. Eventually when we're rich enough, we can just swap uh, weapons. Gosh, this guy does a lot of damage. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to actually eliminate him. Sometimes it's better just to not even bother. But I need to spawn the ad so I can go ahead and refill my flasks here. What the heck is that? Am I getting any hit markers? I'm pretty sure that's poison damage on the ground, but if I'm immune to it. Oh, what? Oh, you know what? I. <laughs> We didn't go to, uh, here, let, let's go do that real quick. So we'll take this over to, uh, actually, I think you can put Sin in your town, but whatever, he's over here. Goodbye. We give it to him. And now we are immune to poison with the soul of Shikari. But um, we didn't have it there before. And I was just like, yeah, just walk over see, and, and see. Now, you know, we'll, we'll do it for the sake of testing. I, I'm pretty sure that that should be considered poison damage, but I mean, it's, it's a snake and it's like spitting out. Come on, like you gonna tell me that's not poison? Well, let's walk over it. Oh, what? Oh my, what the heck? That's not considered poison? What? I'm super supposed... <sighs> right in the middle of casting right there. Well, we ripped all of our XP. <laughs> it's our last try, guys. Hopefully we'll get it this time. Wait, I can't actually go to my... What? Oh, wait, we got, we got two more. Never mind. Oh, I thought we were melting. I was like, wow, dude, we do good damage all of a sudden. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Slowly creep up to it. Oh, it's regenerating shields, too, now. Ooh. Oh. That uh, spit on the ground. I want to call it poison, but it's, it's not. My mana is gone. Grab all my frenzy charges. Ooh. I was like, no, we're just sitting there, dodging. The RNG mechanic. I will get it though. Oh my gosh, dude. This boss doesn't mess around. But then again, it is a tier 15 map. Look at this guy. Woo, what did we get? I, I love seeing all the like the little beams of light. Congratulations. You know what's funny? I was watching when they were doing like the race for like the, uh, there's a race for like, the, it was a total of $30,000. Um, I remember someone killed uh, one of the metamorph bosses, and then on the on the ground there was like this little thing that spawned, and it just melted him. <laughs> and he, like he killed the boss, but he was just like, "Oh, cool items!" And then rip, rip level eighty character, and it is quite hard to go ahead and climb, especially when you're playing solo self found. Um, dual strike attack speed. Oh, this is I don't know is that. So these helmet modifiers are actually really good. I don't know if this one's worth anything, but it is an Ursine Pell. I don't know if you can vault orbit and you'll get that Star Condress, right? Is it that? Or is it, oh, it's Silken Hood, and not Ursine Pelt. I don't know what the unique version of Ursine Pelt is. There's a lot of trash in here. Probably should clean this up, but we'll, we'll manage that later. Let's go ahead and see what else we got. Uh, so, eh, I don't know if that's really worth uh, utilizing. 
But uh, let's see, what do we have? We are like 15 minutes here. Let's definitely do some more content. So we can do some, you know what? I, I didn't show off uh, corrupting a map yet. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and alk this. Uh, if we have any alks, hopefully we will. All right, sweet. So let's see, I'm not really a fan of temporal trains because that makes you really slow. So you can do two different things to the map. You can scour it and then you can um, make it like white and then you basically are just completely rolling it. Or you can use a chaos orb on it. Uh, that also is uh, another option here. Uh, can't be stunned. Oh, I already have point blank. That's not a downside. So the vault orb, oh, sometimes it'll do this and you have no idea what it is. And I'll say unidentified. You might be, okay, identify so it does. Well, it's too bad because it's corrupted. Most items in the game that are corrupted can't be modified. There are very few exceptions to the rule of that. So we don't know what's in here. So we're going to go ahead, go in. We might get one shot. It might be reflect physical. We have no idea. But we won't know until we go in, right? So we'll go ahead and just hop right in and uh, see, maybe find out what it is. Because we might not find out what it is. Sometimes you can kind of figure it out. But uh, yeah, it's just a mechanic we haven't shown off, so we'll show this one off. I'm going to do a couple more maps for this playthrough. Oh, stuck. Oh, it's a, a door. And uh, don't stand at those uh, giant squares. It's like, it's bad. I think it has to do something with the new mechanic, because I, I don't think I, I saw it all. I think the last league that I actually played extensively was Legion, and it wasn't in that one, so I want to say it's something new. Also, I want to mention, uh, there's a lot of things that will spam. I probably already mentioned a long time ago. You can, like, right-click on it and then avoid them, but they'll just make new accounts. And, like, it's worth it to keep the the, the all chat. The all chat is very, very quality in Path of Exile. It's funny, and there's also this toucan thing that's a good meme. I haven't seen it yet, but when it comes out, China. I help people ask, what's the value of this unique item? Then you know that they're new. And then you can whisper them and be like, hey, dude, check out pathofexile.trade, and, um, you know, you can... There's also, like, a trade on the main website. Gloves are vendor. Yeah, Loctonials are actually great. What is he talking about? Those are, like, one of my favorite leveling ring, uh, not rings, uh, gloves. They're great. They're, like, I would say probably arguably best in slot, uh, like, early game. Because they offer a lot of attack speed, a lot of cast speed, and you can get, uh, power charge, endurance charge. Like, yeah, there's, there's nothing that's gonna really compete with that early on. For the most part. It's great. What was this area? 77? Okay. Where's your game? Like, okay, XP. Wondering at 9%. And there's going to be two bosses here. Go ahead and swap this out for this. Oh, this boss can get pretty nasty. With two of them. Ah, gosh. It's because there's these giant orbs. The giant orb will, will absolutely wreck you. But it's like, it's so easy to dodge. But when there's two of them, that makes things a lot more complicated to dodge. Like, look at that. Like, see where you're able to dodge that? I always forget we have Blink Arrow for dodge. I'm just so used to literally spamming it and dash over and over for dodge everything. But Blink Arrow is a great uh, ability to dodge as well. That That's the, the lightning orb that can do a lot of damage. I'm just going to go ahead and go to a point blank and just see if we can melt her. Oh, we got hit by the orb, eh? <laughs> no problem, dude, just just tanked it. All right. Um, I don't want to do the metamorph yet, because I don't know. Uh... All right. Well, I just wanted to go ahead and swap in the gem. That's why, I mean, that was just unlucky. Yo, what's up, Penguin? How you doing, man? Are you enjoying COD this year, or are you, you over the, that game? Oh. Forgot to throw my buffs. About to rip. We still have to fight the Metamorph. I mean, I'd say the air is pretty much cleaned out. There might be like one, ooh, not even another group down there. Uh, maybe at the top, right? Kind of want my revenge on whatever, like, one shot of me destroyed me. 
It might, I might have been standing in one of those things. Also could be bad. And we go to the top right over here. I guess come freeze down. Some of those, uh, I don't think I should off the mechanic if I identified them, but you can identify them to find out what the heck they do. You can also modify them. You know, we should do that in the next strong box that I actually play. If I remember, that is. Let's go ahead and do it. Alright, so we'll go, I guess, in here. Be oh, hi! Okay. How to proceed is sometimes you can check out one of all dexterity gems. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. I don't think I've seen that modifier before. Sometimes in leagues I like new modifiers. Alright, let's go ahead and do the boss over here. Uh, currency items, yes. Well, currency items. Let's go really low on this. Because I don't care about the row weapons. Okay, as long as there's no regen, I'm down. Regen equals no fun. Oh gosh, it's gonna have the, the, the giant lightning ball. Maybe we should have summoned it in the in the boss area. Let's pop all of our flasks and see if we can do any good damage to him. Oh my gosh, this thing just doesn't doesn't take damage. Maybe it's just an insane amount of energy shields. And once we melt that. But the problem with energy shield is it's basically like life regen if you're not doing enough damage uh, fast enough. And if you like, you know, die, then they can just regen instantly, go to full, and that's no fun. But... So, uh, this build does have a little bit of poison damage. That's why it's bypassing that energy shield. It's just because of our gloves. Take some time. My mana is gone. Watch out for that. This one's pretty easy. I say that, but then it's gonna like one shot me. Gotta make sure we're always doing damage to the uh, metamorph because uh, at any point, if those shields start recharging, it'd be very bad. I'm just now we're, we're just mowing through it. Yeah, I guess like with all those flasks, I just got confident. I was like, oh, let's just go ahead and do that. Maybe yeah, I can play a little bit more aggressive. But it's just those times where you randomly get one shot, and like sometimes. Yeah, it's just path of exile. Like no matter what, you're just not gonna be able to have the threshold to actually absorb the damage. Let's go and check out our loot, see if we got anything good, and uh, that's all I, I really have to show you. I just really wanted to show off like the, the like the higher tier maps as well as capturing the soul of Thraxia, um, because that one uh, was something that I, I had on my list, and which which is weird because I really thought that that poison that I saw on the ground was poison or whatever that was on the ground was poison, because um, it says reduce chaos damage taken. Um, well, on caustic ground, is caustic ground not considered poison? Caustic ground. Let me let me check this up. Uh, so caustic ground is chaos damage. That, oh, that's what it is. Okay, so we do have damage reduction. The amount of damage per second is depends on its source. Okay, okay. So there's other things that can cause strong boxes can actually have it. Okay, certain zombies will release caustic ground. I really thought that that was poison. I mean, if, if you were to tell someone, you know. What type of damage do you think that it was? I don't think that, that they wouldn't say poison, especially if like a, a, a snake spits it out, you know what I mean? But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let's go check out our loot from the uh, items over here and see if anything is worth anything. Um, I think the only thing that we got that was like, maybe, was that spreading rot. Let's see if that's worth anything and that'll be a good checkpoint over here. So spreading, spreading rot. And then I will make the video on like the, one of the coolest maps here uh, very soon. Uh, but I want to check out what this is worth. This is worth absolutely nothing, but what does it do? Extra chaos damage with at least uh, a certain amount of intelligence. Blight inflicts wither for two seconds. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's worth anything. But sometimes, if you hold alt that specific number, like if it was 13, which I guess is the highest. Let's see. Okay, so 
if you go over here, right, you go to Pee Trade or the, any Path of Exile trading website, um, sometimes it can be worth a lot if it's a very specific, perfect roll, and then you go ahead and corrupt it, and it does something. All right, let's go ahead and corrupt it. I don't know if it's going to be actually worth Chaos uh, Orbs, but this did roll perfect. So sometimes, specifically having it perfect, like there's some over here for 10 Chaos. Let me let me type this in. Um, let's type this in. increased Chaos Damage. And if we put minimum 13, right? Oh, did I say crafted? Oh, gosh. Uh, I just wanted to say... Uh, it doesn't have to say crafted. Uh, oh gosh, there's so many other. Uh, total uh, percent chaos damage. Physical. Oh, just type in. Let me just type this in again. Increased chaos damage. All right, just total. Whatever. 13. Okay, the lowest one is one alk. So it's. Pro oh, there's like one. Um, there's one for three. So I think that maybe it could be worth uh, maybe like a couple chaos. But maybe if we vol it and get something really good, it could be worth something. But sometimes um, what will happen is if you corrupt it, literally nothing happens. And at that point, it's still worth less, usually, unless like someone specifically wants to have all corrupted items because there are builds that can want that. But for the most part, I wouldn't worry too much about that. But uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for this part of our YouTube Path of Exile playthrough. And uh, the next one will be up very soon. But thanks for tuning in for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next PeeWee playthrough. Peace.